E pessoal, se você quiser mais um vídeo, hoje iremos reagir a Sem Quere by Rodrigo Zin. This translation was actually provided to me by a new translator that I've been working with. His name is Arthur, and I will make sure to put his Twitter and his YouTube in the description down below. It would be really awesome if you could support him on both uh, YouTube and Twitter. So I'm very excited. I know that this video was hard to translate just because Rodrigo Zin uses a lot of slang in his music. So I hope I am pretty sure that I will get the gist of it. So I'm very excited. Let's get into it. Ooh, I like this. It's like a like an actual music video. Mm. I like that. Already starting off with some braggadocio. I talk about a lot where I really love it when artists are able to brag about themselves in their music. Especially for Rodrigo Zin. I feel like Rodrigo Zin, he has earned the right to brag about himself. Just because I don't know much of his history with the geek rap community. However, I will say that when I first listened to Rodrigo Zin, I can already tell that his style and his songs were just completely different from what other artists are making. I love how Rodrigo Zin is able to add so much uh, social commentary in his music. And I feel like maybe he didn't do it single handedly, but I will say that because of what Rodrigo Zin provided to the community, I will say that he did give the community an opportunity to try different things. So I, I really appreciate it. Uh, that boss music. Mm. A lot of bragging about himself, talking about how he knew that he was meant to be an artist. He followed his dreams. So I really like that. Another thing that I really like about this particular song, or at least this particular line, it's talking about Nike. Obviously, Nike being the shoe uh, brand, but also the goddess of victory. So all those different meanings of walking in Nikes, walking in some uh, name brand shoes, but also literally walking on victory. So I think that's really awesome to talk about. <laughs> Pode vir de frente que eu não vou perder. A postura é certa, eu vou fazer valer. Invadindo o palco, invasor de fato. A nossa vitória não é sem querer. Pode vir de frente que eu não vou perder. A postura é certa, eu vou fazer valer. Invadindo o palco, invasor de fato. A nossa vitória não é sem querer. Nunca te vi no trap. Ooh, it sounds like he's about to start actually rapping. So I apologize for pausing there. I like this line a lot. Talking about how 
There's scratches on his boots, but each scratch has a story. When you compare that to the verse talking about Nikes and Adidas and all these other shoes, I like how this part is specifically talking about the effort that goes into that goes into finding your passion. Obviously, when we think about music, when we think about fame, we think of the glitz and the glamour. We think of everything will, will be easier. However, the road to success is going to be difficult. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to have a lot of bruises. But all those bruises are showing everyone else not just that it was easy to succeed, but it took a lot of work. That's a good lesson to teach anyone, uh, specifically to teach people who are thinking about pursuing creative uh, jobs and careers. So just remember that. Mm. Wow, I should have just let him finish. Never mind. He already talked about that. Mistakes were a way to open new doors. That's the best way to think about mistakes. Mistakes are there to teach you lessons. They're not just there to hurt you. Their mistakes are here to make sure that you learn how to avoid them in the future. And then there's one more thing that I want to talk about. It was, yeah, he said that life is like a cliff, but not a roulette. That's also very true. When we think about life, life is this inevitable journey that ends with death. Life isn't just about being lucky on some days and being unlucky on other. Life is this complex series of events that you just had to experience. You had to experience both the good and the bad. It's all about what you do with your life. You even talked about that. One day you'll have success. The other day you'll have failure. What matters is how you learn is how you just overcome those challenges. Ah, that's beautiful. And there you go. If you would like to follow Arthur on Twitter, that's his Twitter handle. So make sure you follow him on Twitter. But there's a lot I want to say, but I'm going to let the video complete itself real quick. Obviously, when you watch the entire video, it helps the YouTube analytics. So please make sure you do that. <laughs> All right, I think it's just gonna be silent, so I think I'm just. Oh wait, hold up, is there more? Aí. <laughs> okay, a little behind the scenes. That's always nice. But I think it was a it was a very great song from Rodrigo Zen. I feel like Rodrigo Zen, he's like the older brother of the community. The way that he's able to 
talk about life's challenges and talk about success. It's all from, it's all like wisdom and experience. He's experienced so many things that he wants to share that with everyone else. So that's how I feel about Rodrigo Zin. If Seven Minutos is like the fathers of the community, Rodrigo Zin is definitely the older brother. Or if not, maybe he's like the cool uncle, <laughs> depending on how you want to see it. But to me, he seems like a big brother for the community. So what a great song. Very inspiring, I will say that. But thank you all so much for watching. And of course, thank you so much for Arthur for being able to translate this for me. This was incredible, and I'm really happy that I got to listen to it. So, of course, make sure you follow Arthur on Twitter and subscribe to his YouTube channel. And until then, Obukal Boys Astir, Sabi Ordinary, Audi.